All right, so in this specific video, we're going to cover how to make money with Pinterest and more importantly, how to promote affiliate products with Pinterest. So we're going to use two duos in this video. We're going to use Pinterest as the traffic source and ClickBank as the affiliate network where you can find different affiliate offers within specific niches. Now, if you don't have a ClickBank account already, you can simply go to ClickBank.com, create an account. Once you create an account, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to the marketplace. And once you go to the marketplace, it's going to give you different categories where you can find different products to promote. Once you click a category, you go down and there's subcategories. So in this specific one, I'm going to go ahead and click diets and weight loss. That's one of the top three biggest niches in the world. And what happens is once you specify the niche, it'll show you how many category or how many uh, products you can promote. In this specific uh, category, there's 266 different products. And then what's going to happen is you can literally do your research on which products work the best, right? So Fat Belly Fix, there's Fat Disseminator, there's Lean Belly Breakthrough, the Red Detox Tea. And what you do is you simply go out and do your research by clicking the actual, uh, this link right here to, to see the actual um, the sales page. Go through the sales page, see if it uh, is aligned with your with what you like to do, not what you like to do, align with your, your values and your morals and everything along that lines and see if it converts well. And then um, basically uh, you can go ahead and press promote. Now, for those of you who don't know what affiliate marketing is and how we're gonna make money with Pinterest with affiliate marketing, um, affiliate marketing is simply when you recommend other people's products and they pay you a commission. So for an example, if I was to go ahead and promote Red to Detox Tea in this specific niche, they are willing to pay me 75% of each sale generated. Now they do have the statistics here, the average sale generates $32. So that being said, that means every time I generate a sale, I get $32. Now the cool thing is, is that I don't have to, um, all I have to do is figure out how to get visitors to this sales page. Let's see the sales page one more time, right? So if I was to press the sales page, this is what it looks like, right? Basically what this is, instead of driving them directly to a product, the sales page is literally a sales presentation, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever, right? But what it does is this presentation is a video basically using automated sales task tactics to actually uh, persuade and sell the person who comes across this presentation to actually take action and buy this product. Now the amazing thing about this is with video creation, you have the ability to completely automate your sales process. Meaning you don't have to call people, you don't have to text people, you don't have to message people, you don't have to do home events, you don't have to do home meetings. You simply leverage this video, get people in front of this video, get them to buy, and you're gonna go ahead and get paid 75% of each sale you generate. Now the cool thing about offers like this is that they have one-click upsells, meaning the overall earning potential of somebody continues to get upsold may be as high as $300, right? So 75% of $300, you do the math, you could earn over $200 per commission for this one sale. Now the average, is this little stuff right here, $37. So you're going to get paid on average $32. But if somebody decides to go up the value ladder, you can get paid over $200 for one sub generated. So with that being said, now that we understand the basics of affiliate marketing, how we just need to get people to the sales process, um, the next step is, okay, cool. It says promote. So how are we going to promote it? How are we going to go to get visitors? This is where Pinterest comes into play, right? So I'll, sh I'll show you guys my personal Pinterest and just to show you guys some stats. There's a lot of people who actually teach this method but aren't actually doing anything. So if you look at my monthly viewers, I have 316.6 thousand monthly viewers. Now the cool thing about Pinterest is that Pinterest is evergreen, right? With Pinterest, you can literally create one piece of content that goes viral and it'll like continuously drive traffic. It's like, it's like blogging, right? Or creating a YouTube account. And monthly engage, I have 16.6 thousand monthly engage, right? Now, how does Pinterest work? You simply go ahead and create a Pinterest account. Once you create a Pinterest account, you create a board around a specific topic. Let's just say motivation or weight loss or whatever. And I highly recommend 
the products that you're going to be promoting, you create a board around this category, right? So an example, I could create a, a, a board around diets and weight loss. For this example, I'm not, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to show you guys some examples. So what we do is you're probably thinking, okay, how do I grow my account? How do I get people to my page to start liking my stuff? And et cetera, et cetera, right? So first is you want to go ahead and actually start creating pins, right? And then once we create pins, we want to start getting traffic. And then we're going to go ahead and actually get this traffic to take action on our offers, right? So first is you create a pin, right? Once you create a pin, you simply go ahead and upload uh, some sort of piece of content. But here's where the magic happens, guys. Your URL is your affiliate offer, right? This is what you're going to be promoting traffic to. And then the description, you're going to go ahead and have some sort of description on your actual pin. Now, if you want to know the type of content for Pinterest, We'll just put Pinterest post weight loss. So an example, this is like these are literally things that you guys can put on Pinterest, right? You can literally have infographics of something value based. Now, what I would highly recommend is value based stuff, right? Because value based stuff goes viral. Look, the best flat belly workout. Boom. Here's a good Pinterest post. CrossFit circuit. Boom. So it's literally giving value, right? Now these are good thing, good Pinterest posts, or this right here. Little things like this go viral, and you can literally find these for free online. You can literally steal these, swipe these posts, put it on your Pinterest account, right? And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to upload the image. I'm going to add my URL to my affiliate link, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a description. Save, right? Now what's going to happen is if I go to my account so three point so mine is more so motivation and quotes and stuff like that right so what happens is if I look at my account it'll literally show me based off of I have 190 pins only 190 pins has me three three hundred thousand monthly visitors right so imagine if you were to do three posts per day your stuff will start to go viral now how it works guys is First step is creating content. Once we create content, we want to get people to our page. Now, how we're going to go ahead and get people to our page on Pinterest is simply following people who um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an example, right? So here's daily motivation. I'm going to go to so these comments right here. What I would do is all these comments. Oh, it's all by this, the same person. So let me see Hungry for Success. The objective, guys, is to find similar boards. So motivations, people. So they have 3,000 monthly viewers. But what's important, guys, is this thing right here, followers. So they have 400, 544 followers. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go ahead and literally follow each one of these people. One, two, three, four five six seven eight now why is this important because these people specifically follow this person for motivation seven eight nine ten now there's some crazy stuff right here so they're like fake followers or whatever but i'm going to pick the people who actually look real so if you notice i've already done this method right this guy's already followed so we're following this and then for the for time's sake i'm not going to follow a lot of people but just to show you what you would do. Now you can literally do this. Um, let me see, Google. Maximum, maximum Pinterest follow, following. Following. So 500 boards, 200 posts. So you can literally figure out how many people you can follow per day. Um, I don't know it really doesn't tell you but you can do your research on how many people you can follow per day just so you don't get banned but what you would do is I would go if I wanted to do weight loss and promote weight loss products I type in the keyword so weight loss then I'm gonna go to prevention.com and then I'm gonna go to I didn't mean to do that see look they just got me to their website so Pinterest that's not what I wanted to do so but basically that's how you guys are gonna promote your uh, affiliate links by the way so here's the actual pin, and then there's the link, right? 
here's the pin, here's the link, here's the pin, here's the link. So they're driving traffic to their websites or in your case, your affiliate link right here. So if I was to go to, click right here. So here we go, Skinny Miss. So Skinny Miss, 10 million monthly viewers. And then they have followers. They have 1 million followers. So I can literally just start following all these people. Boom, follow them, follow them, follow them, follow them. So I'm literally just gonna go ahead and follow all these people. And once I follow all these people, I'll maybe do 50 to 100 per day. Once you follow them, they're gonna go ahead and go to your page. Once they go to your page, they're gonna start looking at your post. And if they like your post, they're gonna go ahead and actually add your post to their board. So they can literally add it to their board. So let's just say they have 400 followers. You're for free. They're literally gonna to go to market your Pinterest post for free, right? So that's how I was able to go ahead and get 300,000 monthly viewers because I follow these people and as they start to go to my board, look at this. These are, um, this one has 86 pins, right? Know the rules well so you can create them efficiently. I don't work for money, I work for freedom, right? So this has, this, these three posts, look, three posts have 7,000 views, 12,000 views, um, 11,000 views, 88 pins, 86 pins. Guys, that's literally free traffic of people. And what happens is, if you guys notice here, I don't know if you peeped that, but on the actual graphic that has 87 saves, right? I have my website, ericellisjr.com. So I'm driving traffic to whatever offer I'm promoting. 86 pins, 12,000 impressions. Guys, that's ridiculous. 12,000 impressions for one simple post. And it's simply because I'm engaging with people within my niche. I'm following their followers and then they're coming across my page and then they're engaging with my content and sharing my content. Look, 86 saves. And what that means, they literally saved it to their board, which is literally, who they, one might have a thousand followers, one might have 10,000 followers, whatever. However many followers they have, basically these 86 saves get, gave me 12,000 free impressions. And guys, this is free traffic to where you're gonna be able to promote these offers. And what's gonna happen is, if I click the actual link here, I didn't do that correctly. But what I would do is once I actually post this picture, as stated before, when we go to um, if I wanted to create a pin, I'm so lost right now for some reason. But if I wanted to go ahead and create a, a pin, so create a pin, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my website URL and I would highly recommend having your website on the actual piece of content. So that's gonna be ridiculous freaking traffic. And then once people actually stumble across it within your specific niche for the offers that you're promoting, right, you're gonna be able to generate commissions. So look, one post generated, as stated, 12,000 impressions. Let's just say a fraction of a fraction. Let's just say 1% of 1%, which is like 120 people decided to actually um make a purchase let's do the math here so let's just say it's a 30 dollar product let's just say one percent of one percent of one percent which is like a which is like 12 people made a purchase of a 32 product 32 dollar product 32 i'm gonna use a calculator really really quick calculator 32 32 times 12 that's 384 dollars off of a post that literally took me 20 minutes now would you be worth would you be willing to spend 20 minutes of your time to generate 384 dollars i would but to each his own so with that being said guys that's how you guys make money with uh with um with pinterest you simply go ahead and find affiliate products and you guys can leverage clickbank to create a free account and then what you're going to do is you're simply going to go ahead and drive traffic with these posts, engage with people within your niche, get them to follow your account, to sh organically share it because you have good quality content, which is going to drive loads of traffic to your affiliate offers, which is going to go ahead and make you a bunch of money. And they would just thank me later. So